I don't know about everyone here at home, but this is one question I've been dying to ask you. Yeah. Welcome to my November video blog, where I attend the Wells Sports Foundation dinner and catch up with a few of my GB and Northern Ireland teammates. So here we are, we're in Leicester. We've just enjoyed some really nice food, um, part of um, the Wells Sports Foundation annual dinner. Here's Holly Bleasdale, looking very glam since I last picked her up at home. How have you enjoyed the evening, Holly? It's been really good. The food's been excellent, even though I did choose the healthy option. We could go for fruit salad, so I stick it off pretty, but I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> in like Meadows here, who had the full whack sticky coffee pudding? So uh, maybe I should um, follow your example. But no, we've had a really good evening, haven't we? We just had a few prizes and that give out. Um, Di Green won our sports personality of the year, so that was quite good on the athletics front. I voted for him as well. He deserved it. Yeah, he did deserve it. So you're having a good night? Yeah, I'm looking forward to my bed though. Double bed all to myself. <laughs> That's change. pretty sad that that's your highlight of the night, Holly. <laughs> Alright, we'll speak to you soon. See you later. And now we're here with Steph Twell. Athletes are really taking over this World Sports Foundation. It's really good, isn't it? It's a fantastic evening, finally, for us all to get together and just go and catch up with how everyone's getting on. Uh, and you're running really well at the moment, Steph. You're back on the comeback trail? I'm on my comeback trail, definitely. I'm just trying to get some back to back weeks of training ahead of going out to Kenya next week, so I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, that's exciting. So um, I can just um, <laughs> hear the voice of Di Green in the background. Do you mind if I just pan out in a minute? Di, you're all sports fan. Now to the year. As I, I don't know about everyone here at home, but this is one question I've been dying to ask you. Since your win in Daegu, have you locked yourself in a room and played R. Kelly's The World's Greatest and thought, this song belongs to me? Um, that might be your ideal thing, uh, Jen, but I'm not, not, as, vain it, as, yeah. not as vain as you, you know. Oh, so, uh, that's the first thing I would have done. <laughs> oh, you, you're going to do it though now, it's just that, aren't you? You, you are going to have to uh, think about those words and think, this is actually me. <laughs> That's my life ambition. I have to find my medal first of all. I always forget where I put them. It's not what you want to hear, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, congratulations on winning our sports personality of the year. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> and this is the prize that you can see that Michael Rimmer has won. He's a bit of a coffee um, addict, apparently. Trevor thinks it's going to be a full night after this. Rimmer, are you pleased with your prize? I'm over the moon. Uh, brilliant. He's won this for... Um, his great skills going into um, primary schools. Apparently all the kids love him. Rimmer is a winner. That's what we're going to see next year in London. Is that going to be your new t-shirt? I think it might be. Actually, this is a question that we're all dying to know. If you unzip a button or two, have you got your t-shirt under there or not? I've not. You've not? You've gone t-shirt today. Well done, Mike. It's still lucky for me though. It is, it's still lucky, it's still lucky. So here we are guys, we've got a cat here and Barry Wells himself. Okay cat, can you please explain what you're doing? Right, so I've got these glasses on which I've just won on a prize to make my head teacher cry in a good way. <laughs> and these are um, because when I was a kid I used to carry around a briefcase with the ten, top 10 most wanted and wanted to be a spy. So he's got me these glasses which I can turn around like this. You can still see me? Yes. No way. Yeah, so it will give, it will give her a fantastic career after athletics. I mean, she'll probably be in 2012, 2016, 2020 Olympics, but she needs to think what she does afterwards. And spying it and is. I spying, it will become, I mean, she's pretty hard to miss. <laughs> the cat's pretty hard to miss, but with those glasses on, who can tell? And I also think that um, it's going to help me in my driving. On the motorway, nice. because I don't even need to lock You don't need to use your mirrors. mirrors. Just yeah, so. Fantastic. So Barry, this is the morning after the night before. Um, how did you view last night? I thought it was amazing. I just thought the whole thing. Yeah. Um, I think the you know the, I thought the contributions of people was extraordinary. What I hadn't realised until we actually added up beforehand, we've got the group of eighteen and trying to work out what what they'd won beforehand. Yeah. And we sat down. We thought, well, look at world medals, European medals. Um, Commonwealth medals, look at the three, and I found they'd won 61 medals. That's amazing. Unbelievable. 61 medals between the group. 61 medals in the group, which 29 were gold. And, you know, you, you, so that was kind of three per person in the group. I mean, you had over, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you had had over achievers, like yeah. you know, Jody, who'd, yeah. won, who'd won seven, seven of, of which virtually five of us were gold. Yeah. Um, but, you know, in your case, you saw, yeah. actually, there was a piece of paper, you've got at four, at world or European level. Yeah, um, yeah. It yours. Is impressive over the and it was just amazing yeah. that this 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 world yeah.
So I th- yeah, so I just thought it was I just thought it was amazing. I, I, thought, I thought it was unique last night. The only opportunity I've ever got to be in a room full of so many sporting greats and everyone to be very honest and open with each other and share some really good advice. So for myself, it was really valuable. Yeah, and the Jodies and, and, and Steph, seeing Steph coming back after that yeah. horrific injury. Yeah. And, uh, and she opened up the run, I think, last Saturday. I read it was the, she did the eighth fastest time of the day and she just came back. Just Steph, <laughs> isn't said it? That was for Steph, yeah. yeah talent. So, great. Talented I just, group. We really enjoyed the evening. Thank you very much for having us, Barry. Thank Pleasure you. as ever. Mm-hmm.